What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today, we're gonna to talk about what we sold some of these cars for because you guys have been curious about it. So I'm gonna kind of jump into this and try to get it over with as quickly as possible before the rain starts up again. You know, a tin roof makes it really hard for you guys to hear what's going on in here. Um, so we'll start with the, uh, the red 2001, I believe it is, F154 by four. That is the Super Crew that we bought from uh, Tulsa Copart and we gave like 1400 for it out the door total invested in that truck was just at 2800 dollars. we sold it for four grand so uh we made 1200 dollars profit on it and that is in my opinion that's great 1200 dollars profit it's going to a good home a good guy that's going to get some use out of it not to mention we got to use it quite a bit on the channel so i'm happy with that it's going to bob up in st Clair shores michigan and uh, I want to say thank you to Bob for uh, purchasing the truck. It's actually shipping out of here today, and it should be up there to him very, very soon. And also thank you to Bob for giving me a little bit extra so I could buy a cold stamp kit uh, from Harbor Freight. It's basically just a punch set with letters and numbers so I can uh, stamp some additional VIN numbers and things into my trailer in case anything else were to happen to it. I, I, I can verify a lot more easily that this trailer actually belongs to me. And also, regarding the trailer, Texoma Trailers down, I think they're in Texas, sent me new VIN numbers for it. New VIN stickers and five other VIN numbers so that I can put VIN numbers all over this. So by the time I'm done, that thing's going to be marked up so good, nobody's ever going to be able to get rid of all the, the markings on it unless they literally just cut the trailer to pieces. Next. How about that Chevy, I think it was a 2001 Chevy Malibu Classic or Chevy Classic that had a broken timing chain. That's when I decided I wasn't even screwing. The car just wasn't worth it. It, it, it's, it just wasn't worth it, period. Um, that car, we lost money on, obviously. Um, that car sold for $400 and we actually had, uh, God, four, 80 or something into it anyway we didn't lose much but we definitely lost money on that car the uh the chrysler sebring i believe that's a 2010 chrysler sebring that car sold as well um now we didn't have that much we had like 530 bucks into the chrysler sebring we actually sold it for seven so we made a hundred and what seventy dollars $180, $70, I don't remember exactly what we sold for or exactly what we purchased it for. But either way, we came out on top and I made a tiny bit of money on it. Not a lot, but a profit is a profit, guys. It's, it's great not to lose money on it. So selling the Sebring definitely offset the loss of the Malibu. So those cars are kind of a wash, the Malibu and the Sebring. We just kind of wiped the, the slate clean with those. And uh, ah, how about the red Chevy 2500 that we literally just bought and we literally just sold? Well, uh, boy, I'm gonna have to do these numbers in my head. I can, I can remember pretty much everything here. So the truck was four grand. I paid $4,000 for the truck. The tires were $600. So there's 46, the oil change was 60. And then with tags and everything came out to 300 and some. So 46, seven, eight, nine, miscellaneous stuff. You're talking, uh, you're talking five grand before we get into the front end rebuild kit. Uh, which was about $200. So you're looking at 52 with the front end rebuild kit. And I think that's pretty much everything. We never actually put the front end rebuild kit on the truck. Um, there is a couple other little miscellaneous minor things. We're gonna, we're gonna call it right around $5,200 what I had in the truck. And here again is where we lose money. Um, it kills me to even admit this. I gotta answer the phone. But we sold that truck for $3,600. $3,600 and we had around 52 in it. Yeah, that's a that's a loss of 1,600 approximately. I'll be right back. Hey, the fact that he's in jail and, and you know, these people are gonna stop at least for now, stealing other people's stuff is good enough for me. You know, I got my stuff back, but I'm, I'm, I know there's a lot of people out there that didn't yeah 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 and it was actually stolen my camera caught the headlights shining through the garage door on the 11th at 4 56 in the morning and i found my lock yesterday when i was mowing the yard broken in my uh, in my field next to my shop yeah yeah you know she she's been i've seen the criminal record for him and her and, and they've been around each other for many many years so 
She knows exactly who he is and what he's about. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen it. So that's that's good news. I'm happy. I'm I'm happy about that. That's perfect. Thank you. That's the best news I've had all week. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So we have some more news for the video. The thief, thieves, thief, thieves. He got arrested. Uh, Christopher Trawick is in jail. He get this. Get this. Get this. You guys are gonna love this. Christopher Trawick was arrested. The guy that stole my trailer, right? He literally got arrested a few days ago in a stolen car with several stolen license plates in the car and a bag of dope. <laughs> Sorry. Freaking meth heads, right? Meth heads. Gotta love dope fiends, man. Yeah, so Mr. Trawick is in jail and he is facing several charges. He's being hit with my trailer, receiving and concealing stolen property. Uh, Miss Casey Joe is also being charged with receiving and concealing, and concealing stolen property. His is a little more serious though. His is concealing and, and, and receiving stolen property after uh, conviction of a felony. Um, so he's looking, he's looking, at, he's going to have some trouble. He is now charged here in Midwest City with the stolen truck, the stolen plates. He's being charged in another county, Canadian County, for my trailer. Um, this is great. It's great. Like, it's been a rough week because the city of Dell City told me I can't have my cars here and the truck, I, you know, broke down on me. Um, but that was great news. Like, that was enough to just, my day is so much better right now. My day is so much better right now knowing that this knowing he's sitting behind bars right now. I'm gonna go visit him. I think I will. I might, I might, I might go visit this man over at the, the Midwest City Jail. That's where he's sitting at right now. Um, they're also gonna charge Casey Joe, but they said chances are she'll probably, you know, uh, turn on him, testify against him, which will be the, 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 the last nail in the coffin for him if she testifies against him. They'll probably end up letting her go on some kind of a deal in turn for being able to lock him up even longer because this dude's it this dude is now in jail for dope you know possession stolen plates a stolen vehicle now he's being hit with my chariot so chances are this guy is he's gonna be gone for a while so uh this is this is really great you know and this is the thing i know we're getting sidetracked here i lost quite a bit of money on the red truck okay we we got that part but let me tell you something guys a lot of crap has happened to me in my life and, and it continues to happen to me throughout my life. I'm used to it. It's just been the way of my life since pretty much the day I was born. And I have learned to kind of deal with it and roll with it. Sometimes I get pissy. Sometimes I could be a little whiny as some of you uh, like to call me out. But at the end of the day, I move forward. And, and, that, and that's what's important. You gotta keep moving forward. That trailer being stolen, at the time that it was stolen from me, it really, it hurt me on many levels, financially, personally. Uh, it was a violation, it was a serious violation um, to me. And here we are a week or so later and look how things played out. That's the thing about life, man, is bad things may be happening to you right now, but there might be good things that come from it. And what good thing came from it? Was it a lot of stress, a lot of drama, a lot of BS? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Would I do it again? Yes, I would. Thanks to you guys that went out there and located this trailer as soon as it came up on Marketplace and contacted me. I could have just left this alone. I didn't have to make a video about the trailer. Could have left it alone. This guy could have taken the trailer, sold it and been done. Nothing would have happened. But I made a video. You guys helped me find it. And because of all of this working together that we did, this guy's behind bars. He's not gonna be out here jacking more people's stuff anymore. He's not out here with dope on the streets anymore. The guy's in jail, my trailer's home, everything worked out and we got a bad guy off the streets. I need to change the channel. Screw this cars, let's go catch criminals. Let's do that. That's a, that's a lot more fun than doing cars, right? All right. So anyway, there's there there's everything. You know that phone call was completely unexpected. Um, we got everything out of the way as far as the cars that we've sold, how much we lost on most of them. It is what it is, man. We're gonna get back to work because that's what I need to do. And this rain is gonna make it so you guys can't hardly hear me. So I appreciate you guys. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me Auto Auction Rebuilds on Instagram. Give the video a big thumbs up for putting that mother behind bars that get yeah, whoo i'm happy about that i'm happy this dude is behind bars man 
Uh, thank you to all of you, for real, that helped me and helped the police get this guy off the streets. This is great news. Like the video, stay safe out there. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. There's all kinds of crazy crap happening here on the regular. This is like reality TV, man, and, and it's real. So stay safe out there, everybody. We will catch you very soon in the next one.